Before signing the official proclamation on bollworm eradication, Secretary Purdue congratulated those who have been fighting the pest. I'll have to admit, you guys look pretty good having been in a hundred year battle for the bollworm. So, uh, and, and a lot of excitement out here this morning. I didn't expect this many people and this much excitement for the wake for the pink bollworm. The bollworm, which was first reported in Hearn, Texas in 1917, has reportedly cost growers 40 to $100 per acre. And producers have been forced to use multiple and costly insecticide applications to minimize damage uh, to their crop. And still the pink bollworm is estimated to have cost $32 million annually uh, to producers in the West in terms of yield losses and incre increased control cost. The USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service officially launched the eradication program in 2000, and it took a variety of tools and a significant amount of industry resources to achieve success. Genetically, it took uh, transgenic BT cotton. It took extensive surveys and traps and understanding where this pest was. It took pheromone applications. And it took a, a, another biological uh, tool, sterile moss, released in order to uh, do that. Growers paid for assessments to, uh, uh, to propagate this battle. Though USDA's APHIS did contribute between 20 and 30 percent of the resources to support eradication, the Secretary is most pleased about eliminating regulations put in place to prevent the spread of the pest. We actually have rules in the book, in the big thick book, that we're going to Tear out and throw away, and I kind of love this part of my job, so I'm throwing away the rules. Adams and other cotton growers are also celebrating the work of university and USDA researchers who identified weaknesses in the bollworm's biology. They say the effectiveness of state, federal, and private partnerships and investments are what made this project a success. For RFD-TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington.